Monday morning. Just had a good weekend with the family. We are en route to Home Depot. We gotta buy a water heater. We gotta, be a, we gotta buy a water heater, uh, some seismic straps, and some elements. Our first call of the day came in on Friday. She's got a water heater that's leaking, so we know we gotta change it. And then we're gonna check uh, her plumbing system and see if there's any other upgrades that should be done or need to be done. And we'll discuss it with the customer. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this unit and get on with it down the road. This is our uh, beautiful Grants Pass, Oregon City Parks. I think you saw the video where I was kind of ranting about how it's very disappointing. We really don't even take our kids to these parks uh, because of the uh, homeless problem and they're you know on drugs and shit. Um, anyway, I'm going to check on this job where we changed out a floor drain. Um, just getting a final photo and picking up a key. All right, we are done with water heater. First job of the day, it's uh, like 11 a.m. We're gonna go deal with a real estate transaction. Okay, this is very not to code, very scary. Surprisingly, the home inspector only said it needs straps. It needs a lot more than that, but we're only gonna be able to do what they're authorizing us to do, which is throw on seismic straps. So I'm gonna do that. Got tools here, gotta go grab the straps. There's a leak under the house. So we're gonna get that fixed. This is a vacant place for sale. Gonna get this stuff done, what they noted, even though there's a lot more that should be done here. Um, and then I think I'm gonna go get my new truck to the DMV, get it ready to roll. So this might be it for today. Kind of a little slower, like I said, but I got two jobs scheduled for tomorrow and uh, we're gonna keep on trucking. So let's get this done. Go one right there. Get this slid out. Mingo. All right, we got some seismic straps on this unit. Turn the water on, go under and look for a leak that needs to be fixed. Luckily the seismic straps went on easy. Still say it needs more work, but do what I told, do what I, doing what I'm told. Going to the land down under. Got my trusty Milwaukee lantern with me. Plumbers live in crawl spaces. Whew. At least there's no insulation. That's always nice for a plumber. Here we go. Water's on now. I had to go turn the water on. Wow, there's not, not much space under this one. That's for sure. <sighs> there's a leak. Okay. Let's see. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a fun one. Oh boy. Anyone else see the frog on top? <laughs> Not gonna lie, this leak's a little bit of a pisser. It's just <coughs> not gonna be an easy, an easy spot. Um, I'll make fairly quick work of it, but not super excited about it because it's a little more involved than I was picturing. I'm back with the fittings I needed, you know, cut this bad boy out. We're just going to shark bite onto it since that's all that they did. We'll ream it out, double it, and shark bite it. Just got done whacking that old thing out of there. I got to spin it off 
some pipe wrenches. You know, contrary to popular belief or what stereotypical plumbers are, it really helps to try to stay in shape because you are not going to be having fun if you get overweight. You're trying to crawl these crawl spaces. I mean, it's it's brutal on you. Um, so I believe it's important to try to stay healthy. And uh, I think you're going to have a lot better time plumbing and be a lot more, uh, honestly, just a lot better trained, a lot more equipped um, to do this stuff. Because I don't think you really should be plumbing if you can't crawl. It's such part of the job. Let's get this done. Fun, fun. Fun, fun. Dude, I know it doesn't it doesn't look that hard, but that was a nightmare. It truly was a nightmare. Plus, I forgot fittings that I needed, so I had to crawl out two more times just to get it plumbed. And I'm pretty tired after that one, so we're done. Let's get out of here. Well, I kind of forgot to video the last couple hours, but I made it to the DMV, got the big truck uh, legal on the road in it right now actually and then I went to Home Depot and picked up a bunch of cable equipment for the new truck as well so got a lot done today after work got a pretty full day scheduled for tomorrow and uh, things are going well this is a big truck 